Hanzo is a pretty popular character in Storm Connections ranked and that's why I'm bringing you guys a character guide on him. Let's start with some grab setup. 7 hits into the neutral combo, you guys are going to be able to cancel into a 100% safe grab. You guys are also going to be able to go for a safe grab setup 9 hits into the up combo. When he reels the opponent back, you guys are going to be able to go for another grab. And another safe grab setup that Hanzo has, it's going to be 10 hits into the down combo. As you guys can see right here, another 100% safe grab setup. Something that I want to point out about Hanzo's grab as well is that it actually has some pretty decent range. As you guys can see, I'm somewhat far from Mifune, but I'm still going to be able to go ahead and pull off the grab. It doesn't have as much range as something like Gara's grab for example. But I do want you guys to keep in mind that the grab is definitely very, very useful. I want to go ahead and cover his infinite, which is going to be 7 hits into the neutral combo. At least that's going to be his first infinite. And the second infinite that Hanzo is going to be able to do, and it's the ideal infinite combo that I would go for, it's going to be 9 hits into the up combo. As soon as he reels the opponent back, you guys are going to be able to, you know, stun the opponent and of course get them into an infinite. Now, of course... Infinite combos are extremely essential to master in Storm Connections because they're going to be giving you a window of opportunity to sort of connect and extend your combos with things such as ninjutsus, ultimate jutsus, and of course the items that the characters are going to have. Specifically, Hanzo, which he actually has the poison tag. I'm going to talk about it right now. But of course, I want to give a demonstration first. Infinite, 9 hits into the up combo, into the poison tag. And as you guys can see, the damage is just going to go ahead and stack up very, very quickly. I mean, right there, I'm already at a point where, you know, damage scaling starts to kick in. I was able to do massive amounts of damage, all because I knew how to maximize Hanzo's infinite combo. Again, 9 hits into the up combo, as you guys can see. Now, another thing that I like about Hanzo is that his guard pressure is very, very good. Um, when the opponent is guarding, ideally, you want to make sure that you go for the up combo. Why? Because as you guys can see right here, Hanzo's up combo is very, very long. Unlike, you know, a lot of the characters in the Storm Connections roster who sometimes have, like, really, really short combos when the opponent is blocking, like so. Um, Hanzo actually gives you the ability to dish out massive amounts of block damage as you guys are seeing. Regarding his air combo, I don't really have any tips. Um, his air combo is just there mainly because his ninjutsus can't really be done in the air. However, his ninjutsus are very powerful, which of course that leads me forward to ninjutsu tips. He has the explosive circle attack, which is of course can be used from a pretty decent range and you know, it's going to be pretty a, a pretty good projectile attack. But of course, what makes Hanzo shine it's summoning Ibuze, which is of course going to give a poison effect to the opponent, which is of course going to be damaging the opponent as time passes. And on top of all that, since it's going to be damaging the opponent as time passes, um, you guys are going to be able to do some extra damage. In fact, I think this is one of the most busted characters in the game due to this poison ability, right? You're just able to do so much freaking damage. Whether you summon Ibuze or whether you do an explosive tag, the damage that you can do, again, it's pretty much, you know, insane. With that said, I do want to go ahead and point out as well that there is a, apparently a 100% combo that you can do with Hanzo, as in, like, you will literally, you know, completely destroy the entire health bar of the opponent um it's very complicated to do i'm just gonna link a very good video in the description that goes over hanzo's 100 percent combo so you guys can check it out and do it for yourself but yeah just make sure that when you're using hanzo online that you're using ibuse which is ninjutsu 2 because that's what's going to be you know the biggest advantage that you're gonna have when it comes down to online combat right that's what makes hanzo shine um, going over items, of course, we have the attack pill, which is always welcome for that extra damage. And of course, we also have the uh, poison tag. And if we go for an ultimate when we hit our opponent with a poison tag and we have our attack pill, I mean, as you guys can see, the amount of damage that we're able to dish out in such a short amount of time is massive. I want to go ahead and go over Hanzo's cancels. I think what makes a character great in Storm Connections and also Storm 4 is the amount of variety that a character can have when it comes down to 
all of the things that they can uh, cancel into with their combos and Hanzo has a lot of those cancels. Three hits in, you guys are going to be able to go for a ninjutsu one and also an ultimate jutsu as you guys can see right here. It is a 100% save ultimate jutsu cancel as well as a ninjutsu one cancel. But you guys do have to make sure that you get the timing right. If you don't get the timing right and you don't do it on the third hit, it's just not going to hit. Also, Ibuze is not able to cancel in um, three hits in. Five hits in, you guys can actually go ahead and go for an explosive circle. And you guys can also cancel into Ibuze five hits in. As you guys can see, I was able to do it right on that one as well. And yeah, five hits into the neutral, you guys can also go ahead and cancel into an ultimate jutsu as well. Now, of course, keep in mind that Hanzo's neutral ends at seven hits, which means that after that seven hit, you guys are going to be able to, like I said earlier, go for the infinite, but of course also go for, uh, you know, an injutsu cancel, an ultimate jutsu cancel as well. 12 hits into the neutral, you guys are going to be able to cancel into an explosive circle and also Ibuze. I did try doing an S3 ultimate jutsu cancel on the 12th hit or 10th hit in the neutral, but it was pretty much impossible to do, so I wouldn't really recommend going for it. 9 hits into the up combo, you guys can cancel, but only into Ibuze and the ultimate jutsu. You cannot do an explosive circle 9 hits into the up combo, because as you guys can see, it's actually going to you know, not be in range. And this is going to be our ultimate jutsu cancel, 9 hits into the up combo. 13 hits into the up combo, as you guys saw right there, you guys can also go for an Ibuze cancel and you guys can also go for an explosive circle cancel as well. 8 hits into the down combo, you guys can also cancel into Ibuze as you guys can see and you guys are also going to be able to cancel into the explosive circle as you guys can see right there. And as you guys saw right there, eight nine hits into the down combo you guys can also cancel into an ultimate jutsu it does have to be an s3 ultimate jutsu cancel however if you don't know what that is check out my ultimate jutsu cancel terminology guide on the tutorial guide in the description but yeah um i wouldn't go for that ultimate jutsu cancel into the down combo because the timing does have to be very very precise as well going over awakening tips with hanzo the good thing is is that he gets to keep all of his combos which is very very useful because basically what that means is you guys can actually go for the infinite nine hits in and just dish out massive amounts of damage and on top of all that hanzo also gets to keep his same jutsu when he awakens of course with explosive circle now sending not just one but two explosive circles on top of all that he also has two you know d-pad um you know assist ninjutsu which is basically Ibuze, but the only difference is, as you guys are going to see, is that the D-pad Ibuze's are actually going to be able to have more range. And this is something that you always want to go ahead and uh, sort of take advantage of, specifically because the cooldown is also really, really um, you know, low as well. Keep in mind, your number one objective with Hanzo is just to make sure that you're poisoning your opponent as much as possible so that you can do that damage over time and of course so that you can completely destroy your opponent. If you guys enjoyed this character guide for Hanzo in Naruto Storm Connections, feel free to drop a like in the comment section. Uh, be on the lookout for my next character guide. If I missed anything as always, you know, just drop it down in the description and I'll be seeing you guys on the next one.